when you had just been assigned uh, or just finished. So <coughs> this is the example. To, uh, I already gave you the code here. So there is one question called uh, <coughs> give you the molecular uh, mass of a tree space and then ask you to say if I want to make 400 ml of uh, 15 millimolar solution uh, how much grams of trees do I need? Right. So the question, uh, where is that question? Uh, okay, um, basically there is a question. So, so well I can basically write the write it right here so that would be uh, some of you already fi figure out the formula here but that's basically the formula I rewritten here so but you have to remember the x is the concentration in millimolar and y is in the unit of milliliter so that's the formula so the formula weight <coughs> So x divided by a thousand, I, I convert the millimolar to molar, and y I divided by a thousand, convert the milliliter to liter, and then times the molecular mass. That's the amount of a gram I need need for the tree space. Now, if I just run that, uh, oops, oh, I forgot to reassign the x yet. So the x here is four uh, four hundred and y here is 15 right? so if I run that at the bottom you will see the answer is 0 0.7268 gram oh I just highlighted it. I just highlight this and run okay. yeah I just highlight this and run you see 0 0.72 but yeah but I, I want to do a little smarter than this I don't want to do this again and again every time I see a question I'm going to write this again. Instead, I write a function called gram for millimolar and milliliter. And I run that, run this whole line. Then I have a function to do this. So, and then I'm going to say, oh, if I want to make 400 milliliter and 15 millimolar, there, yeah, I got 0 0.7682. But this time, I don't want to do this. This time, I'm going to say, I'm going to say run uh, say 523 millimolar for 20 for 33 millimolar. Yes. I have to correct it later, so okay. I'm recording myself. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. So, so there, if I now after I write the function, I can basically give any any combination you want to do, right? So if I want to make five two three for thirty three millimolar, I got a two point oh nine something gram, right? That's so uh <coughs> now this is seems to be interesting, but this function only works for trees because I I, I put a number here, one twenty one point one four. But I don't want to make write the program only calculate the, the solution for trees. I want to write the solution calculate for any chemical people want to do, right? So I, I write uh, another version. So this time uh, this time I put a uh, concentration there, volume there, and formula weight or molecular mass there. And I basically rewrite the formula this way again. It's the same thing. Oh, I just realized some of you have difficult to, to see this. Uh, sorry, I forgot to, I need to adjust the font size bigger le next time. Though. Sorry. Yeah. <coughs> but so I run this, this time I, yeah, so, but this time if I want to do a sodium chloride, I can also do that. Sodium chloride, the formula weight is 58.433, right? So if I want to do sodium chloride, say 20, 500, I do that. I, I need, what I need is say 0.58 gram of sodium chloride for 500 millimolar, 20 millimolar, right. So, so there, I, I write another function. This time I can calculate almost for any chemical I want. 
Now the, the trouble of this one is I had to remember the formula weight for everything. And then his his this one I'm really proud of. And I want to write a soft uh, software where people don't have to remember the formula weight of molecular mass. They just have to remember the name of the chemical and uh, my software can calculate the molecular weight itself and then calculate it. That seems to be a smarter than the first two versions, right? So that's uh, my third version called version 3. Yes? Um, so when you said that they just have to enter the name, is that something that you said, um, like you studied people to, or does the program... Uh, I'm going to show it right here. Yeah, this is an example right here, right? So this time I'm going to call it version 3. Now, this is the... I didn't have time to write all the chemicals, but I put one, two, three, four, five chemicals here. So sodium chloride is 58.4, uh, sodium chloride 74.5, sodium nitrate uh, 84, sodium hydroxide 40, and trace I also added there, 121.14. Right. So this time, instead of the ask people to input the formula weight of molecular mass, they all they have to do is to input the name of it. See the point? Right. So this time I'm going to say, well, calculate 400 milliliter, 15 molar, millimolar trace, and how much gram gram get? It's again 0.72. But if I want to do this for a uh, sodium nitrate, 100 milliliter, uh, 1,000 millimolar. That is one molar, right? So that should be uh, 8.4. Right. So you can double check. Make sure that is correct. And we can do this for the sodium chloride. And you can change that to anything you want, right? So, mm -hmm. so say one molar, one milliliter, how much gram? That's very tiny, right? But that's, but that's the gram. If I want to change it to milligram, I just times one thousand. That's the point oh five milligram. It's still very tiny, right? So, but that's. Basically, that's the. I hope I can show you. You you are convinced you. Well, at least you find it interesting. Writing a little software, you can do a, a lot of more things than just using a simple calculator or Excel. Right? Okay, so I'm going to.